There's nothing like a classic Reuben sandwich. Let me show you how to make it. Build it with rye bread, spread a little Thousand Island. Thousand Island is classic for this sandwich. Sometimes people use Russian dressing as well. If you don't have either one, don't go out and buy it. You can make your own with simply combining ketchup, mayonnaise, and a little relish, maybe a little dash of white vinegar. Thousand Island dressing. Add on a slice of Swiss cheese, pile on the corned beef. I love to fold the meat over. It creates layers of meat and makes the sandwich extra tall. Makes for a heartier sandwich. And my favorite part, the sauerkraut. I just love the way the tanginess pairs with that creamy cheese and that rich meat. Make sure it's well drained when you add it to the top. More cheese, a little more dressing on the top piece of bread. Turn it over, place it on top. I'm gonna spread some butter just on one side of the bread for now. I love using a griddle for these sandwiches. You get that panini fill. If you don't have one, you could use a cast iron skillet, but you definitely wanna create that kind of pressed sandwich effect. Place it on the griddle, butter side down, and then butter the second piece. Just like when you're making a grilled cheese, you don't want your skillet or your griddle too hot, or it's just gonna toast the outside and not get the inside good and melty. So you wanna do like a medium heat so that it all heats up together and then toast perfectly on the outside. Get ready, because it's gonna be good. The Reuben sandwich was actually created in a hotel in Nebraska when a man named Reuben ordered a sandwich with corned beef and sauerkraut and he ordered it every day for 15 years. Who knew? These are good to go. You've got crusty golden tops, gooey cheese, mouth is watering. You know I love that sound. That goodness. <laughs> Gooey in the middle, toasty on the outside. Mmm, so good. This is quite possibly the most perfect sandwich of all time. I just brought the deli home. <laughs>